Oh, LucasArts, where did you go wrong? Where? Friends? Yes. Friends? Yes. We've only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? Yes. You never gave me a chance, and for that... You'll fry like a pork sausage. I'm suddenly hungry now. It's not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more of the unpredictable. So this is normal for you, I guess? I don't know. Hello. Hi? This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. Ah, good point. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. Always I fun. He wasn't a real doctor. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. Whee! Ooh! Ow! Hey, nice one. Yikes! Huh? He's not a real guy, Sam. Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damned ugly time bomb. Let's leave this criminal cesspool pronto. Good idea, Sam. Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. You mind if I drive? Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. That sounds entertaining. Sam, is pronto a real word? Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'll never forget all you've done here today. I like how they just left her tied up. Just nothing. What's going on guys, The Inhuman Beatdown, and I'm here with a brand new project. This is just something I'm doing spare time for a rainy day. This is Sam and Max, hit the road! Now, I don't imagine a lot of people, especially my audience, will understand, will know what this is. Sam and Max, the Freelance Police, originally started as a comic book series, I believe. Usually about weird tales where they try to help people out, but end up, like, usually fucking things up. It was sort of a, a parody-type thing, and eventually gained a cartoon show for kids in the 90s, but... Yeah. But this is in the old school style of a point-and-click adventure, which LucasArts did amazingly well at back in the day. Case in point, the Monkey Island series. And I actually remember playing this game years ago when I was a kid. I still have the old floppy disks to install it. For those who know what a floppy disk is. But luckily, uh, GOG's got the hookup for uh, this game and I was able to download it and here I am. Uh, <laughs> a lot of this in involves problem solving, which if any of you know from countless stories, How's my aim? Call 1-800-STAR-WARS. Ah! They can make that joke because it's LucasArts. But, I'm, I was kind of stupid as a kid, so I got real stuck at certain points. But, I hope to fix that now because i played through it a bit more and I've gotten way farther than I did a long time ago. So, yeah. I just wanted to really share this with you guys, see how you like it, because... I, I'm really trying to branch out from my normal genre of gaming. It's, it's like, it's all good to have the same thing, but you need some variety. So I thought, I've done visual novels, I've done RPGs, let's do a point-and-click adventure. I actually ran perfectly for time. Well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. I know, right? What the hell are you talking about, Max? Sam, either termites are burrowing through my skull, or one of us is ticking. Oh, that's right, you guys never got rid of that Oops. bomb. Oh, yeah. Max, where should I put this so it doesn't hurt anyone we know or care about? Out the window, Sam. There's nothing but strangers out there. Huh? Yeah, very good point. I 
hope there was nobody on that bus. Nobody we know, at least. <laughs> nobody we know. And this is actually pretty well animated for a game that ran on DOS. Hello? Yes? 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 No? Really? Well, the same to you, Mac. Okay. Another confused census taker? Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission, we'll be meeting a bonded city courier out on the street. Ooh, smells like a fiercely thickening plot. Always fun. So now we can actually finally move. We have, uh... One, two... We have like five different icons we can do. The first one is walk, where we can have, uh, you know, I always get their names confused. I think it's Sam and Max as the rabbit. Uh, but we can move around, and the legs pointed out means we'll be moving to a new area. Yeah. Uh, we have the eyeball where we can look at things. We've been through a lot together, this TV and I. Sort of get the idea of things. It's Max. Okay, so Sam is the dog. I always got their names confused. The hand is for using objects. We can use it to do stuff. This is no time for chit chat. It could be. An open palm means we can't do anything, and there's nothing there. A closed palm means it's an object. Now, whether or not we can actually interact with that is all beyond what the object is. Surprise, this all went back in the same order. We have talk, where we can talk to people. Right now, we only have Max. And finally, it... Or no. Okay, I was wrong. The open hand and closed hand is take. We can take something and use it. This is the use icon, which is a stress toy for some reason. This is no time for chit-chat. They still kind of somewhat identify the same way. First things first. All our money is invested in that rat hole. Well, I heard money. We might need that. Pick up some cash. cash. Never leave home without it. Agreed. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. And now we can actually place this in our inventory. Inventory. Oh yeah, we have uh, Max. It's my little buddy, ready for action. We can actually use him for a couple things. We'll we'll see that more later though. Uh, but let's continue taking a look at our office. The fuck is that? That's the tuna fish sandwich I made last spring. Goody! Those ants are all gonna die from poisoning. It's a black light that Max uses to illuminate his rare 60s posters. 60s posters? I don't know if that's a real thing. But I'm taking it. Because I can. Because honestly, in point and click adventures, it's always best to try and take everything you can. Because God knows when you're going to use it. And you may use the weirdest of things. Yo, you want a piece of me, huh? Maybe. Take a piece of this. Brutal. But very true to life. And there's one for your old man. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. I have no idea what that's supposed to reference, if anything, but, uh... Guess he had it coming to him. I guess. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte! You're such an adorable urchin, Max. He's dead now. <laughs> I can assume. Anyways, we're supposed to meet a courier outside to get our information on whatever the hell we're supposed to be doing. Kitty! Oh, it's a cute little hypercephalic kitten. I'll call him Mittens, because I think he'd make a fine pair of them. Oh yeah, Max is crazy violent, in case you haven't guessed. It's Max. 
That's fasting. I didn't mean to look at him. Just a bunch of intoxicated pigeons. You know, nothing out of the ordinary. I love this car. You're a sick puppy, Sam. <laughs> Can't be any worse than Dukes of Hazard, the uh, the uh, movie made in like. Oh god, I don't know when it was made, but it had like a uh, Johnny Knoxville in it, and fucking. I think one of the deleted scenes actually had Bo kind of like sensually making love to the general General Lee. It was kind of weird. I can talk to the cat. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Okay. So here we have four options. We can have... I, don't, I really don't know what the paw means. I don't know what the rubber ducky is. Exclamation mark is usually something random. Question mark. Questions. Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. That we do. Oh, yeah, right. Ah, oh, wonderful sounds. Sorry, guys. I swallowed your orders for safekeeping. But now I can't seem to hock them back up. Great. Well, Max did... S or s Yeah, Max did say gratuitous acts of violence were his forte, so, uh... You mind? i just love to turn this guy inside out. Ooh, that gives me an idea. Thank you, Max. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. Maybe we should check it out when we've got nothing better to do, like any time. <laughs> like any time. I love that. There's a lot of humor in this game, and sort of like a lot of meta humor as well, but most of the time it's just really weird stick humor which I really love but uh that's gonna be it for now so next time we're gonna go check out the uh, carnival and see what apparently is weird down there despite the fact I think most carnivals are weird so until then I'll catch you all later Asta hey guys thanks for watching Sam and Max hit the road if you've liked this episode be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all of my latest content, please hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go back out into this wacky, adventurous world that only LucasArts could create. And track down Bruno the Bigfoot or whatever or something. It's getting a little complicated at this point. And frankly, a little weird. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta.